What's up guys, Adam of Whisker Fisherman TV, and this is going to be part four and a half of my $20 a week at Walmart preps. This is four weeks worth of preps in that bin right there. The bin is mine. I, I haven't included that in the videos because I said that you could go with buckets, you could go with bins, you could put it in your pantry for now. <clears throat> I've been doing this for a while, so I already had some bins I knew I was going to use for this anyway. But let's just uh, dive right in, guys, see what, uh, see what we got. All right, guys, there it is. That's one month, 20 bucks a week. And honestly, just about where I thought we were we were going to end up. You know, again, guys, it's nothing spectacular. I'm going to kind of walk through here and give you a little reminder of what we got, but I'm not going to go into great detail. But this is a pretty good, pretty good start, guys. We keep at this for another couple of months, and and we'll really be uh, prepared for a pretty long stay if we need to be. All right, guys. So I'll start with the canned meat. Again, not going to go over everything, but. A few cans of knockoff spam, some roast beef, some chicken, some Vienna sausages. Get into your canned fish. We've got a couple cans of tuna, a few cans of sardines. We're gonna need to build that up. Or again, what I call meal in a can items. That's primarily things like ravioli and chili and and soup all right so we're jumping around the blanket a little bit guys but that's okay got our canned vegetables so those are you know really important we need to get more of those but I did I really wanted to get some basic stuff out of the way early so we are going to be stocking up on both the vegetables and the fruit the fruit to me is not quite as big a deal. A lot of the reason that I want to have fruit around is to break things up and more of a sugar boost, you know, that you're not really going to get out of your vegetables and your meats. But we do want to start concentrating on that a little bit more. white vinegar, vegetable oil, some pasta, which we're always going to be buying pasta because again it's something that I'm not going to say you buy it once and keep it forever but you don't really have to worry about it the way that you do with some of the canned goods and, and things like that. These are all our, uh, I guess I'll say bulk items, you know, our rice, our flour, our sugar, our oatmeal, things that came in containers I wasn't really too sure about. I went ahead, vacuum sealed them all, and it, I like it so far, you know, I'm not going to not going to say it's perfect yet, but for what I've used it for, it's done really well. And I'll be packing up our pinto beans from the last video here shortly. One thing it does help with is that I don't have to open such a large bag. It might open me up into buying in bulk a little bit, but that's down the road. Basically, this is all our our grains, our salt, our flour, the the really basic core foods, our beans will 
very shortly be in that pile water do not need to get into how important that is I generally store more water purification methods than actual water so I might change up these one gallon jugs into a case of smaller bottles just be a little easier for me to work through it's water I don't need to get into that for miscellaneous guys I'm not really gonna have to get into that too much a container something for you to pour your water in it's basically all that is candles and a flashlight give you some light you know the power is going to be off those are going to go a long way and we are going to have to buy more and more of those the longer your goal is you've got to remember items like these are going to start to build up pretty rapidly so that's just something for you to think about a fire fifth layer and matches guys about as basic as it gets but I don't see any reason you're gonna need more than that for right now vitamins and your tang and we are gonna be buying more of those that'll probably be about every four weeks you know those two items will just buy another container because that's roughly I believe a month's month's worth of vitamins right there Dawn again there's a gazillion uses for Dawn but I don't really need to get into all those primarily it's soap you can clean yourself you can clean your dishes and there's a lot of stuff you can do with Dawn so couldn't see a reason not to include at least a small bottle of it we will have to start buying some more hygiene items pretty soon well there you have it guys that's our one month of stockpiling you can make your own estimates based on your own needs I think if I ration this and I really you know I was smart about it just me by myself I don't see any reason that would not last me a month and you know you just divide that if it's two people it's gonna last you two weeks if it's four it's gonna last you one week but that was pretty much my goal thank you for watching guys click subscribe comment like I appreciate every view guys.